Hey you guys and gals, what's crack a lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. We are back home. Finally, have that long vacation that y'all all watched. Thank y'all so much for watching all that. Want to give kind of a garden update. See where we're at uh, and what we got going on. Uh, I'm going to pan you around here. We're going to take a look at the, uh, at the pea patch. And we'll talk about what I think I'm going to do. And then, stick around because I need y'all's opinion on something. I need y'all's help. Uh, it's time that I start getting some advice on some things because uh, a few things ain't going my way. All right, so let's take a look at the pea patch. All right, so here's my pea patch. Now, as you can see here, that little row right there is some peas. But that's it. That's all I got. I think uh, right in that area is some peas, but that's it. And over here, uh, that's the first two rows the second two rows I know you probably can't see it right there um, are some peas and right there are some peas but that's it now I don't know if it's because of how the Sun does now this is uh, let me get a little time check right quick it is 3 30 so this is 3 30 in the evening uh, in the middle of the day, um, as you can see, there's no trees uh, right here. So in the middle of the day, all this gets sun. So all out through the day, the whole entire garden gets sun. But I'm thinking it's because we planted our seeds, our pea seeds, too early. Uh, we planted the pea seeds, and we did get those couple nights that were uh, down and freezing. So what I'm thinking about doing is going ahead and... Uh, sitting on the bucket all the way down the row and planting some more peas because we're warm we're in the warm weather now it's it, it's not it was 85 degrees today it's gonna get up to 80s uh, 80 mid 80s to 90s the rest of the week and down in the high 60s during the night so I'm here at my big garden behind me here let's flip over and talk about this all right so Here's all my tomato plants. Um, they're there. I don't see much growth on them though. And I do see like on that one there. Let me zoom in on it. Uh, the bottom, the bottom leaf there. They're they're starting to turn brown. Uh, and that's pretty much on most all of the plants so this gets sun most of the day except for now the, the sun is behind this tree line here so what I'm thinking about doing this evening when the sun goes down some more I'm going to mix up I have a uh, plant uh, garden plant miracle grow and I'm a miracle grow this whole entire garden all my plants um, here on this row or all my peppers from uh, Dan at Home in the Sticks. Uh, most of them are uh, Tabasco peppers, and down on that end are my uh, Carolina Reaper peppers from Pickerick One. Um, this pole here, you can see down there in the middle. Those are uh, two bell pepper plants that I that I bought. No, pepper plants that I bought. The rest of this I planted in bell pepper and jalapeno. I have no seeds popping up. So nothing's coming up yet. Uh, we go down here. This is my squash. And the sticks down there are the, the right there are the squash and zucchini seeds that I planted. I have none coming up. Um, this row here that you can see down there on the end are my green beans uh, green beans come up black eyed peas nothing so I'm waiting on that um, I think I have one right in the middle that's popped up that's it we come over here to this row uh, this first beginning part if you can look down there let me zoom in down there yeah see all that that is all corn. Every one of my corn seeds popped up. I got two rows of corn. 
Well, halfway down are my okra. And out of all the okra that I've picked up, or that I planted, very few has popped up. Maybe 10. Because you can see here, there's one. Okay, so I found one. That's an okra plant. That's the only one down on this end. And then down there on the other end, I've got maybe five. That's popped up. And then right here, all the way down on the outside, are the um, sunflowers. There's a sunflower right there. Every sunflower I've got popped up. So, that's low down on the garden. Now, what I need your help with is my Brussels sprouts. Uh, I planted some, let's see, I planted Brussels sprouts. I planted uh, romaine lettuce and stuff like that. Those have come up. Now, I, I did have them on the porch, and I think this is where I messed up. They only get sun in the morning time. The rest of the day, they don't. And just like my other plants, they got kind of leggy, you know, long. I need to know if they're going to be okay, or do I need to go ahead and replant now, because I still have time. Let's flip over and take a look at these. I just set them in the sun today to see if it, if it will help, but I think they're, I think they might be too far gone. Y'all let me know what you think. So here, here they are. I think this is the uh, Brussels sprouts. I think they got too long. I don't think they were in the sun long enough. And the same thing with the romaine lettuce. They didn't, they got too long. I don't think I have them, had them in the sun long enough. Uh, these are the watermelon seeds. They're coming up looking good and fat. And then these are some Tabasco peppers that I didn't plant in the garden. I put in these uh, pots that I had left over. And they are looking wonderful. I mean, they're, they're getting, they're starting to grow. So I'm liking that. Those may be some, uh, might, might plant those in some bigger containers. But what do y'all, what do y'all think about these? If you have any advice, uh, if you think they're going to be fine, let me know in the uh, comments below. Or if you think I need to replant, go ahead and tell me. I got plenty of time. Uh, I got the rest of this month on that and still be in the grow period of, of those two plants. Everything else is looking good. Uh, those potato ivies, they are starting to bush out. And like this one here, starting to grow. That's looking amazing. Uh, these are, I'm, I'm coming. These are the Mayhaw trees. They are looking wonderful. I think I need to start setting them out in the sun, but they're growing fine. The strawberries are growing excellent. And over here, look at that one up there. Boy, it's getting it. And then down here, oh, look at that. A little red strawberry. That'll be picked here probably the next couple days and consumed. So that's what, that's what my garden is looking like. I'm going to do the uh, fertilizer, the miracle Grow, um, this evening. And see if that makes a difference. I'll keep y'all updated on that. But uh, the other plants, let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll be much, much help. Alright guys, well, um, I'm going to do get to the animals tomorrow. I mean, I'm going to feed them today, but I'm not going to do a video until tomorrow. Because uh, i got some stuff I need to do out there. And we're going to get an update on the chickens and pig. Uh, Farm All Fanatic, he really wanted an update on my chickens. And you're going to be amazed, dude, because them things have grew. Uh, they are getting big. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you today. I want to show you what uh, everything's looking like after I come back from the trip. Like I said, it's been about six days since I've been home. So, um, got some differences. Got some not so much differences. And we'll go from there. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.